So it's Friday, and for this upcoming weekend, I'll be uh, visiting my friend Ming, uh, who made an appearance earlier in the vlog series. Um, so I'm super, super excited. Uh, it'll be quite a long drive, but um, yeah, really excited. We're going to visit some Christmas markets and yeah. Um, and of course, the dilemma, whenever you're traveling, what kind of projects do you do you take with you, okay? So I have a lot of projects here, and I'm gonna take you with me through my packing process. So, um, I like to always have more projects than I need <laughs> with me. Um, and usually I only work on one, but sometimes I work on all of them. So, uh, and I think one of them is surely gonna be my new Vlogmas cowl. Um, and I think I can get a lot of this done on the drive, because the drive will be like five hours, so that's a lot of knitting time, uh, even though I might need to drive, uh, I might need to drive as well. So yeah, it's not much, <laughs> but it's uh, using the yarns that I showed you yesterday, my newly uh, wound up mohair, and my hand spun alpaca yarn and I'm planning to also use a bit of this. This is some very very special yarn. I bought it during my trip to Japan um, five or six years ago and um, oh, I don't even remember the shop name where we got this um, but it was somewhere in Tokyo um, nope, don't remember. Um, and they had kits to, um, knit your own, I think it was a bow tie or something, and I made my own yarn for, or I made my own. It's, it's compiled out of three strands. Uh, there's a boucle strand, um, a sparkly strand, and then a bright colored lace weight and um, yeah so I <laughs> I chose my own um, yarn but then I never knit the bow tie so I think that I'm gonna use it for the baubles um, so when you're making the baubles you're making them across three rounds so I'm planning to add in this um, this little uh, um, bit of yarn to each middle round of the bobbles. I think that will be really fun. So that's what I'm gonna try. And I have it in my Girl and Bird bag for now, but I think this might be too small, so I'm not sure if I can keep it in here. I might transfer a smaller project to this bag instead, but for now it's uh, keeping my yarn safe. Because my yarn does fit in here, but I think when I start on the project that it won't fit anymore. I don't know. We will see. So I'm definitely taking this one. I'm also definitely taking a secret project that needs finishing. So <laughs> that I'm also definitely taking. So what else? I have my sweater project. And um, I started working on this when I went to Switzerland with my mom. And then afterwards, I just kind of didn't work on it anymore because I'm close to the um, sleeve uh, separation. And I'm wondering if I need to continue um, knitting to the place where the pattern says to split, or maybe I need to split earlier. But uh, I don't think so. But yeah, that kind of uh, took the momentum out of it for me. And I'm using three colors per round now. And I made a little mistake, so I have to frog back just a little. So that, it just kind of took the, 
speed out of it for me. So I might not take this, but I do want to work on it again. So maybe this will be my treat when I come home. So I could take this, not sure. Um, and then there is my Scent of the Pines shawl, which will be a new pattern coming out as soon as I finish it. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's a big blob right now, but I can assure you it's amazing. I love this pattern. Even though I made it myself, I can say that I love it. <laughs> oh, I just... Oh, I just love it. Yeah, I can't wait to block this thing and actually show you what it looks like. I knit it from a Gould DK yarn. Um, I think it was 600 meters per 100 grams. This is the back side, so... <laughs> it's uh, very large already. But I'm gonna... I'm on my second skein right now and I really want to use it up because I want to make a huge shawl. Just, you know, I just... I just want a huge lace show. So I might take this. It's quite mindless, so that's really nice. And I haven't worked on it in a while, and having it with me just might, uh, you know, it will force me to work on it. So, so that will be good. And then, oh, I have two more possible projects. Okay, so I have the hat. Did I show you this yesterday? I think I showed you. So I am working on my striped and stranded hat, which is also a new pattern. And um, I am filming tutorial videos for this. And I think I'm actually not going to take this because I want to film, I want to record another video before I continue. So I'm actually not going to take this, I think. Um, and then. I have this ball of beautiful yarn and the yarn was launched yesterday so now I can finally show you guys. This is uh, new from Scapius. It's Scapius Whirl Fine Art and it has the same weight as Scapius Merino Soft which is based on um, artists um, uh, so like you would have a Van Gogh and Vermeer and um, Picasso and uh, Breitner, yeah. Uh, and these whirls are all um, named after art movements. So this one is called Impressionism. There's also like Cubism and, you know, uh, I can't remember anymore. But uh, they are beautiful and they have come up with new uh, solid colors as well which will match the outside and the inside. And I am thinking of knitting the Flat Out Fabulous Shawl by Miss Norris, uh, which is a free pattern, but also uh, she also has a paid PDF um, um, which she can print out. Uh, I will post a little picture right here. Um, she has knitted with a thicker yarn, but I don't think for a shawl that it really matters, so that if I go with uh, a needle size that's, you know, suitable for this yarn, that I might just be able to knit this version. And uh, I might have to um, um, make the pattern repeat longer, or or knit more pattern repeats. I might have to do that and I'm really, um, but if, if I need to knit it longer I can always order a ball of the whichever color I am finishing with. So, so that would be great. So uh, I really want to knit that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but then it will be another new cast on. And I'm not sure if my brain can handle that because I also want to cast on like three sweaters. <sighs> yeah. Yes, but uh, yes. 
<laughs> so I will um, see which projects to take along. So I have two projects. The Vlogmas Cowl and the Secret Project that I will be taking along. And then one more. So I'll, um, yeah, I'll have to think about that some more. Also, this little guy made his appearance on my blog yesterday. The free pattern will be out next week, Thursday, on my blog. And he still needs a name. And uh, um, I've had a lot of suggestions so far, so I already have a lot uh, to choose from. A lot of people are suggesting a name that starts with an F, like Freddy the Fox, Friedrich the Fox. And I don't know, I kind of want to go against the current. <laughs> I don't know how you say that, but I kind of want to choose a name that has no alliteration. And, um, yeah, also because I already have a uh, Robin pattern, and he's called Frederick, and um, I feel like Freddy or Friedrich would kind of be the same, um, or too similar. Let me just grab Frederick to show you. So here's Frederick. <laughs> I think he was one of my first paid patterns. And I think he's so, so cute. Um, and he also has a little friend with a Christmas hat. Um, this is Coco. Um, actually, I haven't published the pattern for her, so I really have to do that. But yeah, these were, I mean, Groomy Birds were my first love, seriously. So, oops. <laughs> yeah. I love these. So Coco and Frederick. Um, and do I have other names for my? I can't remember off the top of my head. So, so I don't know. I don't know. I also kind of like that. Um, um, the the French word for a fox is renard, and um, we have a little. Dutch, well, it's, not, it's not a fairy tale, it's like a folk tale, probably. Um, um, like a really old story, and it's uh, it's called, um, the fox in there is called Reinhard. Uh, yeah, Reinhard. Mm. Um, hmm, just um, <laughs> convincing myself. Um, so, I don't know, maybe Renard, maybe René. You know, Rene could also be a really nice name because you can use it for a girl or a boy fox, so. Yes, I might go for that. So, I am gonna start packing. Um, and we're gonna have someone um, house-sitting, actually. So, um, they will be looking after Momo and the plants and um, yeah, it just kind of worked out that way. A friend was looking for a place to stay this weekend and you know, it kind of worked out. So um, yeah, so I'll just be packing my bag, getting ready and probably getting up this vlog before I leave because otherwise it will never, <laughs> it will never be uploaded. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!